Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to 10 surprisingly halal things in Islam. So before we do start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, click that bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video. Anyways guys, let's check this out. Let's see what are the halal Typically things. Typically when it comes to Islam, many Islam. people associate it with everything that is forbidden. However, in this episode, we're going to be looking at 10 halal things in Islam. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And one thing to know is that the term halal doesn't necessarily mean the opposite of haram. Halal, however, is related to how meat is prepared according to Islam. But in casual conversations, halal sometimes is used to mean things that are permissible. Oh. And that's the basis we're going to use for this permissible. episode. So let's jump into this episode. Ten things that are surprisingly halal in Islam. At number ten, we have Forex trading. There is no oh. question that currency exchange is permissible Good. in Islam as long as there is no interest charges added both ways and that the exchanger has a valid reason to anticipate oh I think we learned this in Surah Al-Baqarah yeah if you watch my uh, recitation Quran recitation reactions you will know that we learned this recently and I'm really glad how real life is translated in the quran or let's say the quran is giving us um heads up or like how do you call this guides towards living your life as a person a probable profit based upon any analysis that they've done rather than just relying on strictly gambling it's mm -hmm. reported that the prophet muhammad in the hadith said these words gold for gold silver for silver wheat for wheat barley for barley dates for dates salt for salt like for like same for same hand to hand if the types are different then sell however you like so long as it is hand to hand Ooh. number nine guys like i like you so like okay let's trade likes together right now very <laughs> very good way of using we it we have the halal thing of marrying up to four women in islam traditional sunni and Shia we lucky? islamic marital jurisprudence up allow to muslim four. men to be married to multiple women mm. which is a practice known as polygamy and polygamy and this total is up to having four of these partners at a time why does islam allow men to marry four wives what is the wisdom behind it why there are certain rules that needs to be applied for this to happen oh. but it is still considered halal in the quran surah 4 verses 3 it says the following and if you fear that you will not deal justly with the orphan girls then marry those that please you of other women two or three mm. or four but if you fear that you will not be just, then marry only one or those your right hand possesses. That is more suitable that you may not incline to. Wow. So you can marry up to four if you, if it's just. I guess I don't your know. right hand right. possesses that is more suitable that you may not incline to injustice if you Number can one, Islam afford? was not the first religion who came up with the idea of having more than My one eyes. wife all this great message the prophets of Allah they had more than one wife they said for every 16 girls there's a one boy that is born Islam says no these women they have rights to be love to be wives to have children and so on and now that kind of leads us into number eight and that is true, marrying though, a non -Muslim. because there's more Islamic women in the world than between muslim men and non-muslim women are regulated by islamic Don't principles know why. there are <laughs> some restrictions though to whom a muslim can marry specifically a muslim man according to the quran surah 5 verses 5 it says this this day all good foods have been made lawful and the food of those who were given the scripture is lawful for you and your food is lawful for them and lawful in marriage are chaste women from among the believers and chaste women from among those who were given the scripture before you when you have given them their due compensation desiring chastity not unlawful sexual intercourse or taking secret lovers and whoever denies the faith his work has become worthless and he in the hereafter will be among the losers partying comes in at number seven it is okay Party. to have parties in islam having a good time Time and relationship partying is not equivalent to drugs and alcohol and whatever you can party just chill you know do like sports 
uh, games, watch something. It doesn't necessarily have to be haram parties. <laughs> with relatives and friends it's actually an obligation even if that relative isn't a muslim so therefore having gatherings with friends and families and parties and all of that it's actually recommended as long as you keep in mind be. that the certain gatherings should not have any sort of gossip or you know things that humiliate other people or the use of bad words or other things that are prohibited in islam let's talk about beautifying for your husband or wife next both men and women are at certain times required to appear in the way that looks pleasant for their life partner especially when they're alone in their private moments and it's considered to be a great merit for a woman to put on her makeup wear jewelry and perfume to really charm and please her I husband don't know if we and have it's that also a great Bible, merit like, for a man to keep himself it, well groomed does it well dressed say in the bible that, that took a woman to, to put makeup and perfume and wife. stuff but the quran does no put some no guidelines idea. to this and that is but i love that it's in the quran verses 31 and that says and tell the believing women to reduce some of their vision and guard their private parts and not expose their adornment except that which necessarily appears thereof and to wrap a portion of their head covers over their chest and do not expose their adornment except to their husbands then the Quran does go on to list certain close relatives who a woman can be seen beautified in the presence of alright guys so I know this video is talking a lot about haram things in Islam but we did that. a video series about 10 haram things in Islam if you haven't seen that already I it? definitely oh, okay. want you to check it out. I'll have a link to that below in the video description section. We've done five videos so far. We're probably going to be continuing. Who knows? We'll see. I reacted now, to the Haram this episode food on that you didn't Islam. know. Next okay. up at number five, we're going to look at traveling and camping. Now, the Prophet Muhammad has been recorded to have said these words. Travel so that you stay fine and healthy. So going out in I nature and parks and camping grounds, even traveling far distances like, why would in we... other cities and spending time overnight come, in nature actually no can problem. really help change your mood. There's a lot of lessons that you can learn out in nature. I love how the Quran is giving us like psychological and life hacks as well. Like it's giving us things to do to help our psychology, to help our mind. And it gives us also life hacks like the trading and all that stuff. So I'm really, really surprised that there's so much we have not even delved to the surface level we are still like you know peaking damn as well as it can help strengthen a believer's relationship with god number four let's look at owning pets so Ooh. according to islam human beings are allowed to use animals but only if the rights I'm of an really animal is 100 so. fully respected the owner of an animal must do everything to benefit the animal but some people believe that the animal that is kept should never ever ever be a dog because Ooh. islam does forbid keeping dogs except guard dogs and hunting dogs oh. now in the hadith narrated by abu it says this whoever keeps a dog that is not a dog for hunting herding livestock or farming two curats will be deducted from his reward each day each yeah, day next. so wait you can you guys cannot have dogs oh i'm really excited to get into that one when i go to the quran oh, wow interesting at number three now this is a Dancing. little bit of a sensitive one because there's quite a bit of different opinions but it's <laughs> said that there is no problem in dancing in itself however if the dancing does include some sort of sexually of course if you're like twerking on a freaking uh person that is should definitely be haram to every religion like what is that dance ever actions right. that is forbidden and it doesn't make any difference to what not the saying i'm the best human being in the entire world that i've never twerked on so a wall speaking, but speaking if dancing is done in a sexually provocative now that I'm more way mature, that can lead sense. to committing other forbidden acts or involves having a bad effect over somebody then it is forbidden but generally speaking outside of that dancing is allowed in islam we're almost at the end of this episode we got two more to go and number two we have divorcing up to three times oh. so when marital harmony cannot be achieved at 
all Three that the times couple, the Quran huh. does allow and even advises the spouses to bring the marriage to a full end. In the Quran, it says this, and if he has divorced her for the third time, then I think she we know this from the Surah Al Baqarah. Until after yeah. she marries a husband other than him. And if the latter husband divorces her or dies, there is no blame upon the woman and her former husband for returning to each other if they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. These are the limits of Allah, which he makes clear to the people who know. And that is taken specifically from that. the Quran, Surah 2, verses 230. We made yeah, it to number one. We definitely the halal thing that we're going to end off this episode with is praying in other worship houses. Ooh. So not many people know this. I well, never knew. When I say not many people, I'm talking about people that aren't necessarily familiar with the religion of Islam. But did you know that Muslims can pray anywhere? Although it is... I knew that, but I didn't know that. If it makes sense. Like, I knew that you can pray anywhere, but I wasn't thinking anywhere <laughs> if you get my drift right it's recommended to pray with others in a mosque but it is permissible to pray in the house i know you can pray at for christians for example or anyone That's else all. who does not follow the religion of islam because the general meaning of the words of the prophet muhammad is this the earth has been made for a place of prostration and a means of purification so wherever a man of my ummah is when the time for prayer comes let him pray and that's in the hadith narrative by Al Bukhari, number 323. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this episode. This was a look at 10 surprisingly halal things in Islam. That was definitely you know, interesting. In the comment section. Did yes. any of these surprise you? Whether you're Muslim. What surprised me the most? Let's see. Hmm. I think the praying um, anywhere is the one that. I didn't know and also like hanging out with the, the partying and the camping shocked me because in a good way right it shocked me because I'm like oh there's encouragement to like have a better it's encouraged to have like a better uh, mental space for yourself and also interacting with your loved ones so that's amazing so those three, I feel like the one that really, really surprised me is the house. I know probably some of you are like, really? But yeah, that's the most. And then the other two, close second and third. But anyways, guys, let me know if there are more that um they, it wasn't mentioned here that are even more surprising. Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave in the comment section down below what other videos you like to react to. The original link of this video will be in the description box down below. So that's my social media link. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.